my God, I'm all at Twitter. There's a 58 Buick here. There's a 58 fucking Buick here. Excuse me for swearing. It's a 58 Buick. I went to Granby last week. I saw, I don't know how many vintage Buicks. I was hoping to see a 58, 59. None. And there's one here in Bédurfé, almost on the eastern tip, uh, western tip of Montreal. And it's gorgeous. And I had seen it for sale before, and it's copper, probably powered by a 364 V8. Wow. I mean, look at that mouth. I mean, I love the 58 Oldsmobile, the Pontiac, the Impala, all these 58 GMs, but but that car, man. I mean, talk about over-the-top chrome, and look at the hood ornaments. It just, just reeks of exuberance. And it's funny because here's a 51 or 52, which I'll have to get to. And it's, it's just as cool, but this, you know, again, this is the Zenith. You know, look at the design here. This is why I'm glad I came here. This is exactly why. Hey, how you doing? But I'm Brian Davy. I've talked to you a few times at the Orange Julep and follow you on uh, KGG with all your literature. I thought you were going to say YouTube. No, I On KGG? Yeah, yeah, on KGG. You follow what I have on KGG, we don't buy anything. I'm retired, I got no money. Welcome to my world. How you doing anyway? That's not your Buick, is it? No, I don't have a car. Oh my God. Oh, you're like me. What do you mean? You slept over here by uh... Well, no, I've got a car, but I don't have a... I don't have a yeah, it took me two hours to get here, man. Is that your Buick? Okay, it's just a lot of people don't like it when you touch their cars like that, you know? No, probably not, probably not. I was in Granby last week, you know? And I was hoping to see something like this. And I hadn't seen a 58 Buick in Granby in, 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 uh, in years, like 20 years. And here's one right here, man. And, oh, it was excellent, but uh, it was just, it was a scorcher, you know? I mean, really. It's amazing the chrome they put on this. Wait a minute, it was yesterday, I thought. What do you mean it was a waste of time? Why? I don't know, man. You know, people are weird. Look at the other half of this. Look at a 58 Buick, and here's a Metropolitan. Isn't that strange? You put that one in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, really. You could just tow it, you know? Wow. Awesome. I can't believe it. This one also has the door edge guards, just like that 53 DeSoto I just filmed. Listen, this car is a four door that's worth like 25 grand right there. You know, just to show you how these cars are, because all people don't realize that 58s were rarer than other years. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, it has even got the, the crests on the floor mat of Buick. Wow. Uh, I sold a lot of stuff and I didn't sell much, unfortunately, uh, in the past few days. They're uh, terrible. Typical after the first of the month, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you buy stuff too, or do you just mainly sell it? I don't buy much stuff lately. That's for sure. No, I don't buy as much stuff as I used to. I used to buy a lot of magazines and stuff, but uh, I just got stacks and stacks of them at home. I just, I can't, you know. It's just not. I just got stacks and stacks of them. I said I got to put the brakes on here somewhere, you know. So. Uh, Oh, I've got literature going back to the 50s and 60s, the dealer brochures and everything like that. Oh, yeah, you were the guy who contacted me for that, eh? You wanted to sell me that, some of them. <sighs> well, I mean, if I had a lot of money to play with, yeah, maybe, but I remember you sent me a list, even. I sent you a list. There was the uh, GM cards, the Fords, the Chryslers, and also the uh, Ford cards, too. Uh, I don't know, maybe sometime in the future, if I, if I fall into a shit pile of money, yeah, I'll say yes, you know? Hang on a second.